Good morning, friends. Dr. Murphy here out in the garden. Uh, I'm going to share a story about plants, animals, and human beings. Now, these are the ostas that I did not dig up when I was weeding the garden. These are the ones that I did dig up, but we replanted, and we're hoping that they can kind of revive themselves. I want to take you to this new book. This is fascinating. And I want you to appreciate the creative writing of the reviewer. So, they start out, a world of brilliant disguises. The Liars of Nature and the Nature of Liars, uh, liars by Lixing Sun. Let's look at this photo here. False front, a female chameleon on a fern. The reviewer notes, some birds cry wolf, tricking their fellows into abandoning food by sounding an alarm when no threat is near. Back to the photo as I read some paragraphs. It isn't just George Santos. The world is full of liars, a fact brilliantly depicted in Lixing Sun's slender but important book about cheating and deception among animals and plants, as well as in that hairless bipedal species that is the biggest deceiver, deceiver of them all. That would be us humans. With the Liars of Nature and the Nature of Liars, Mr. Sun, a professor of biology at Central Washington University, has produced a tour de force of evolutionary biology. Mark Twain said that humans are the only cre creatures that blush or need to. We may also be the only creatures that know when they are lying and do so anyway. Now, the concluding paragraph by this reviewer, David Barish. Mr. Sun concludes his fascinating tour with a much appreciated look at the human condition. He proposes, intriguingly, that the large human neocortex, that would be our brain, parts of our brain, um, may have evolved as a response to the complexities of social living, not least the demands of manipulating others via lies and of recognizing and countering one another's lies. In other words, we might owe much of our cognitive ability to Machiavellian intelligence and deception might be the cause of our unusual mental capacities. And then he concludes with two words, no lie.